All right, guys. I wanted to make you a quick video of this Grand Design Momentum 350M. Well, it just came in the other day, and we don't have pictures of it just yet. But uh, I figured if you guys are wanting to do anything on it quick, um, you might actually want to see it, maybe. So I um, figured I'd make you a quick little video rather than just pictures, because pictures don't always do it half the justice. Uh, first thing I want to point out is it does have an outside TV. Uh, it's got two electric outside awnings on the side and then on the patio you can kind of see on the back it's got a patio um, it does have a manual awning as well um, really important on fifth wheels these days especially in Florida that you get that third AC and you can kind of see up on the roof there that it does have uh, three ACs as well so uh, it's really cool if you got people sleeping in the garage you can turn on that AC over there um, or if you're sleeping at night and you don't like to hear that low hum of the AC you can turn on uh, the back two ACs and keep it a little quieter in the bedroom so all kinds of ways you can uh, you can play with that but um, I'll do a quick little walk around on this coach and I'm not gonna make this too long because then it'll take me 30 minutes to upload the video um, all the windows are tinted they're uh, frameless windows the coach is uh, solar prepped so if you ever wanted to get a solar panel or a solar charger, it would just plug right in there. Um, you'd have to get a hold of the Furion company, and they can uh, get that to you. It's got a 5500 uh, EVAP generator. Of course, it's got two 30-pound uh, propane tanks. One here, one on the other side. Good pass-through storage. This is something they just started doing in 16 and 17. It's a uh, motion light, so you can turn it on and off that way. If you flip it back, that's motion activated. So uh, in a couple minutes, that'll shut off. And then uh, if you leave it on, nighttime you're going to get something out of here. Um, once you open the door, the light will kick on. So kind of something cool they just started doing. Um, you can see there it's got a uh, central vac, which always makes it good. It's your uh, battery disconnect switch. Got a couple of outlets out here. Let's walk around to the front. These coaches show really good at nighttime because there's a lot of cool little uh, LED lights. You can see here it's got a couple for if you're backing up at nighttime. And you control those right, let me get my finger lined up, right there's the switch for those. And then inside, I don't know if you can see it, but right there, you got some little LEDs on the outside as well. They're actually blue. Which kind of goes good because it's got a lot of uh, blue in uh, some of the decals. This coach on the side here, it's got three slides. Two on this side and one on the other side. And here's your uh, weight sticker. You can see the gross vehicle weight 16.5. So you definitely be uh, on the safe side getting that 18K hitch. And the weight of cargo should never exceed 2,500 pounds. Um, basically the way they get that number is the uh, dry weight which is uh, 13,886 and then you add the uh, 2,500 pounds that they say and uh, you don't want that to exceed the 16,5. There's your uh, tongue weight too. That's something we'll have to talk about as well. Tongue weight's uh, 2,700 pounds. So you have to see what kind of uh, cargo capacity your 2,500 uh, can support. and. Uh, see if it's going to be enough or if you might need to put springs on it or something like that or airbags and you might already have that too coach does have a auto level which is pretty simple just turn it on hit auto level walk away set it and forget it it's got a your little docking station it's got an external water filter it's a little cheat sheet if you dry camp or if you're hooked up to city water that's kind of all the positions that you want to uh, set it up at um, coaches prep for a satellite you can also turn the water pump on right here it's gonna be the back of your water heater that's your power cord it's a 50 amp ladder of course is on the side this is your uh, fuel station here this is nice too. Uh, almost all the doors have little magnetic catches so you don't have to sit there and uh, screw around with gas struts and stuff like that. 
I can't really squeeze with the door down through the other side because I'm a little wider than I used to be. So we're gonna walk around and uh, we'll take a cruise through the inside real quick. Yeah, I got the radio jamming, by the way, so when I get in there, I'll turn it off. There's your uh, outdoor TV. It doesn't matter where you live or how long it takes you to get here. You have never seen prices like this before. Get here early. Beat the crowd. Save a bundle. You can see in both awnings, too, there's uh, cool little uh, LED strips. I don't know if you can see that or not. Like I said, at nighttime, it's pretty cool. Right inside. I'll turn this radio down. I'll show you how to work this. There's three ACs, but just one panel that controls it. So you'd hit zone one, which is on cool. You go to mode until it goes off. Then you'd go to zone two, which is also on cool. You go to mode and you hit. Good lord, we definitely don't want to hit furnace. Then you hit off. And that'll power down in a second. Here we go. All right, now you can hear me a little bit. So it's a real nice open uh, floor plan. It's got a little uh, little island with hard surface countertops. Got a good size fridge. I think it's an 18 cubic foot fridge. Does have a, a three burner cooktop stove with a recessed cover. Of course, it's got an oven, and then uh, still, instead of just putting the, just a regular microwave, because it does have an oven, they they still do a convection oven, which is kind of nice if you're one of the few people that actually know how to use a convection oven. But uh, we do actually have a class here: how to cook with a convection oven. At nighttime, it's really cool. There's all kinds of neat little uh, blue LEDs up there. Got some up there, some down there. There's your fireplace. Um, my favorite part about this coach is, uh, I call it the party couch. It's really nice. It's got lighted cup holders. I mean, it's got lighted beer holders. Um, you can sit on this chair, hit massage, and get a nice little massage. You can actually hear it. And then of course you can turn the light on or off every single one of these um, reclines which is uh, really nice and then these first two or middle two right here they will both flip down and you got more beer holders so you got all kinds of beer holders in here and then some USBs and some plug-ins charge up your uh, devices let's go check out the uh, bedroom let's stop by the pantry here real real nice pantry space and then those are all your uh, control panels in there. No carpet here on the stairs, which is good. That's a high traffic area. Whenever we get coaches in that are a couple years old, the, especially fifth wheels with carpet right there, that's always the, the most beat up part of the carpet is that, that stair. So I think a couple years ago they just stopped doing carpet on there, which is kind of nice. And here's your bathroom. What's really nice about this is rather than have a regular door, they have a pocket door. Which means if you're, you know, you don't, you're not opening up the door into the hallway, which makes it kind of nice. Real big shower, skylight. And there's your uh, sink, little medicine cabinet, and we'll go into the uh, bedroom here. Oh man, I thought I almost ran out of juice. Um, there's your bedroom. I'm not gonna lie, it's a really interesting uh i don't know what this is bunny bunny rabbit maybe um it's a very interesting uh comforter but um let me get that out of the way there we go um then your slide in the bedroom is actually just the wardrobe but lots of good wardrobe space you got four drawers underneath it and then also you kind of have two uh Almost like two little nightstands on each side of the bed. And of course, you can control your. If you want to set the mood at night, you got a little, uh, you got a little blue, blue light up in there, and then your reading lights. And we'll go back down. Go 
go out into the garage area. What's really cool about when you get a momentum is they give you a lot of extra cool little accessories. And these all come with it. So you got the, uh, oh, I forgot to say. The loft up there. And there is a ladder to get up there. It's tucked away over in the corner there. They give you this cool little pilot chair. Very comfy. Kind of see back down there, there's a little uh, carpet. Get your uh, golf cart and your toys out. You can kind of roll that carpet out, kind of make it a little more uh, bedroom-like. And of course you got your, uh, I call it a pass-through dinette, because you can pop a table up in there, or you can get rid of the table, use it for seating, walk through. This would turn into a bed. This just flips down like so. The other one does as well, and then it just makes a straight bed. And of course, when you're uh, traveling, this lifts up out of the way. I'm sure you guys knew that. And then there's also another uh, bunk up there that lowers down. And I think that thing hanging off is just the, uh, just the table. I'll go out onto the uh, deck. It will come with these two little patio chairs. And then it's got what they call the three season doors, I believe. These things will close off here. You got these little sits right here. Got a lock in place there. And then these will close. But if it's a hot summer day, open her up, let the nice breeze come through. And then what's really cool too is there's not too many fifth wheels out there that uh, have stairs and a little door to get in and out. That looks a little funky because there's a zip tie on there holding that bar down. And I didn't have any tools to break it. But um, that'll just make like a little rail over there. So you have a little grab handle. And then that will actually lock in place a little bit better. But uh, And then of course this door opens and closes. But what's really cool about this uh, patio deck. This is a new patio deck by Lippert. And uh, I think they're using it. And I want to say uh, Winnebago makes a couple fifth wheel toy haulers. They started using it. It's super, super easy to, uh, to, to pull. There's no pins to pull or anything like that. It's all on wheels and it just rolls right out and clicks. So it's very easy to collapse. And there's your uh, awning up there. Um, this right here is a, uh, it's prepped for a uh, backup camera. There's actually nothing in there. It's kind of like the shell, but it's a Furion uh, backup camera. I think it's like five or six hundred bucks. Um, and you, what you do is you get a little wireless monitor that goes into the truck so you can kind of see out the back. I believe it's an 11 foot garage. It's got a uh, TV in it. And then uh, this is the other uh, half bath over here. So, uh, But I'm going to upload this video, and I'm going to send it your way. I'm sure you guys actually want to see it. We don't have any pictures yet, because like I said, it just showed up a couple days ago, and our marketing department's usually a couple days behind. But um, it's a beautiful coach. I've sold many of them. I haven't had one disappointed person with really any of the Grand Design products. Um, just a phenomenal company to, uh, to purchase from. They really kind of listen to the customers. I think I told... Uh, Paul the other day that the three guys that run it um, were kind of originators of, of Keystone and they left uh, Keystone a couple years ago once Thor took over and didn't really like what Thor was kind of the direction Thor wanted to take them in so they left and started Grand Design so they're definitely uh, no rookies to the, uh, the RV industry but hopefully you guys enjoy it I hope this works out for you I know you wanted to get to 50 out the door, and uh, we definitely uh, want to make that happen for you. So um, I will upload this video and send it your way, and hopefully uh, you guys give me a shout here soon, and uh, we will uh, see you Saturday.